friends, my name is Ansha and I am an educator of an academy, India's largest learning platform. And you can follow me on our website or you can download the an academy learning app from the Play Store or the App Store. And uh, we were discussing symmetric ciphers and in this lesson we will uh, learn Playfair cipher, how to encrypt and decrypt using Playfair cipher. And if you like this lesson and if it helped you, please rate, recommend and review and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we learned symmetric encryption, its types, we, and we also learned one symmetric cipher, okay, the traditional Caesar cipher. But for Caesar cipher, the security of that kind of encryption was questionable because it was too vulnerable to brute force attack. Now let's learn another technique, another kind of symmetric cipher called Playfair cipher, okay. So in Playfair cipher, we actually consider a pair of letters called digraph, okay? But in case of Caesar cipher, we were talking about uh, or we were taking one letter and we replace it with another letter, isn't it? But here, instead of taking one letter, we actually take a pair of letters, which we call a digraph, okay? Now, uh, so for an example, if a plain text is friend, then we break it into digraphs as F-R-I-E-N-D. Simply pairs, okay? So friend would become F-R-I-E-N-T, okay? Then we take each pair and encrypt it, okay? So I will take F-R at first and then uh, replace it with another pair of letters, maybe uh, maybe F-R into G J K or uh, F-D, anything like that, okay? Now uh, this is based on a 5 by 5 matrix and we will be having a keyword, okay? So we will have a keyword and then we'll have a 5 by 5 matrix of alphabets. So uh, you can select any keyword, then keyword will be kept private and secure. Okay, now um, and this keyword uh, will only be shared between the center and the receiver or the authorized parties, thus it is uh, secure. Now when we bought uh, when we talk about the security, it is much more secure than the Caesar cipher. It is harder to break the code. So uh, it is much more secure than Caesar cipher because in case of Caesar cipher, the number of possible keys was limited. So an attacker can easily do cryptanalysis or brute force attack. But here you see there will be a large number of possible digraphs, isn't it? Because this is a combination of letters. So uh, that uh, we'll see after we study how to encrypt using this method. Okay, then uh, this is a polyalphabetic cipher. So again, uh, once we study this, how to encrypt and decrypt using this method, then we'll discuss about this. Okay, so this is a polyalphabetic cipher anyway. Okay, now before we study how to encrypt this or how to decrypt this, we need to study how to construct the metric. So we studied that this is based on a 5 by 5 matrix of letters. So let's see how to construct this matrix. Okay. So uh, for that first we need a keyword. So let the keyword be monarchy. Okay. The keyword can be anything. It's your choice. But uh, I selected monarchy. Okay. Now uh, we have a 5 by 5 matrix. So 5 rows and 5 rows and 5 columns. Okay. Now so we need to write the letters of the keyword in the first cells okay so first we need to write first we need to know the alphabets in the keyword okay so m is the first alphabet so we select m then we have o and then we have n then we have a then we have r then we have c then h then y so we have one two three four five six seven eight letters okay so we need to fill these cells with these letters in the order, okay? So first we write M, then we write O, then we write A, then we write, a, sorry, N, then we write A, then we write R, then C, then H, then Y, okay? So like this, we'll write it. Then after that, whichever alphabets are not present in the keyword, we write it in order. So the remaining alphabets are B, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, P, Q, S, T, U, V, W, X, Z. Okay. So we write it in order. So first is B. Okay. A is already there. Then we have B. So we'll write B here. So B here. 
then we have C but C is already there so we have D so we'll write D here and then we'll write E then we'll write F G I J but uh, there is a small thing you need to take care of uh, we'll write I and J together in a single cell why because we have only one uh, 5 into 5 25 cells in this matrix and we have a total of 26 alphabets okay so we'll write i and j together okay so i and j are together and then we have k l p q so we'll write it in order okay so the matrix is filled now okay now that we have constructed the matrix 5 by 5 matrix using the keyword monarchy now let us see how to encrypt this encrypt using playfair cipher so we have some rules so a uh, repeating plain text letters in the same pair must be separated with a filler letter x that is if uh, if balloon is our keyword then uh, first what what do we do first we need to split into pairs so it will be b a l l O O N. So here we have repeating plain text letters in same pair C L L together O O together. So it can be like that. So what do we do? We fill it with a letter X. It is called filler letter. So we add a filler letter here. Okay. Now there are no repeating letters in any pair. Okay. So now that is cool. Now, if the plain text has an odd number of characters, add an X to the end to make it even. Okay, so we are actually making pairs, so we need even number of letters. So, if uh, this is the plain text, arise, we have only five letters. So, we can't split into pairs. Okay, one letter will be left. So, we add a filler letter X in the end so that it becomes even. Okay, so now we have the important three rules. Two plain plain text letters that fall in same row of the matrix are each replaced by the letter to the right with the first element so um these are like uh, three conditions that if the uh, we are actually taking pairs isn't it so if the two letters are on same row we apply this rule and if the two letters are on same column then we apply this rule and if the letters are on different row and different column, then we apply this rule. Okay, so we'll discuss each of them. So we have an example. Let us say our plain text is learning. Okay, so we are encrypting the word learning. So first, what is the step? We break it into pairs. So L-E-A-R-N-I-N-G. So, so what is the first rule? It was about repeating letters in same pair, but there are no repeating letters in same pair, so that is okay. And then we have an even number of letters already, so that is also okay. Now let us start encrypting. So first we take the first pair, L-E. So, so for L-E, L is here and E is here. So which rule applies here? Two plain text letters that fall in same column are replaced by letter beneath with the top element of the column circularly following the last okay so we have letters in the same column so we apply rule 4 okay so so each replaced by the letter beneath okay so for L what is the letter beneath L is U so we write U and for E what is the letter beneath E it's L so we write U L okay so this is U and then we have L. Okay, clear? Now let's take the second pair, AR. Now when we talk about AR, A is here and R is here. That is on the same row. Okay, so which rule applies here? Rule 3. Two plain text letters that fall in same row of the matrix are each replaced by the letter to the right. Okay, with the first element of the row circularly following the last. So we have A and R on the same row. So for A, the element to the right is R. So for A, we write R. And for R, for R, there are uh, there is no element to the right. But we have this condition with the first element of the row circularly following the last. So this is kind of a cycle. So uh, for R, we can take M. Okay, so for A, we have R. And for R, we have M. So AR becomes RM. Okay, clear? Now the next one is NI. So N is here and I is here. 
So n is on the on this row and i is on this row and n is on this column and i is on this column. So what is the condition? Both letters are in different row and different column. So which rule applies here? Rule 5. That is each plain text letter in a pair is replaced by letter that lies in its own row and the column occupied by the other plain text letter. That means for n we replace it with a letter that is on same row and and the column occupied by the other plain text letter. For n we have this row and for i which is the column? This column. So which is the element? It's a. On, on the row of n and on the column of i. Okay clear? That is element a. So for n we have a. Now what about i? For i the row the column. Okay. Row of i and column of n. That is letter G. So we write A G for N I. The next one is N G. So N is here and G is here. Both are on same column. So what do we do? Letter beneath it. Okay. So for N we have Y and for G we have Q. Okay. So Y Q. Clear? So that is how we encrypt using Playfair cipher. So the word learning became U-L-R-M-A-G-Y-Q. Okay, clear? So corresponding cipher is U-L-R-M-A-G-Y-Q. So that is how we encrypt using Playfair cipher. Now what about decryption? For decryption we'll have this cipher and we'll have the keyword monarchy. We'll have this. So again we'll construct what? We'll construct the 5 by 5 matrix and then we just do the revise operation. Okay. So for NG what had we done? We just we replaced it with letter beneath that. Okay. So we have YG, YQ here. So we just go up. Okay. So for Y we'll have N and for Q we'll have G. Now what about what about uh, UL? We'll have for UL are uh, in the same column. So we just take the letter which is on top of this letter and then replace it. Okay. So for U we'll have L, L and for L we'll have E. Okay. Clear? Okay. So that is how we decrypt it. Now if your keyword is like this balloon or something like that. Then we have repeating letters here. So uh, there is a thing that you need to take care of. That is first we write B. Then we write A. Then we write L. Then we don't write L again. Okay. So we write B, A, L. Then we write O. Then we write N. So repeating letters in the keyword are not written in the matrix. So that is something that you need to take care of. So uh, for balloon we'll write like this okay then we can write c d e f g h i j k l like that okay so that is how we encrypt and decrypt using playfair cipher i hope you all understood this so for encryption apply the rules and for decryption just do the reverse operation okay thank you